All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to create a certificate that can be delivered on successful completion of your course. So I've got one here, but just to show you at the beginning, go to Lifter LMS, then Certificates, click Add Certificate, and this is where you would create your certificate. But we're gonna go back to the one that I've already created here. And you can see this is just using the normal WordPress uh, WYSIWYG editor. And you know, this is a H1, heading one. And we're using a couple merge fields here, first name, last name, uh, for, for passing the course. And we also have a date of certification. And we're pulling in the actual date that this happened with this merge field here, current underscore date. And we can actually preview our certificate. So this is what it looks like. And this certificate template, you can totally use your own. You can put whatever you want behind the certificate. But let me go back to here and show you here where you can uh, upload your own image if you want to grab your own certificate background <clears throat> and here is a list of those merge fields you can use in the certificate area so just play around with it get it how you want it you're almost always going to want to use the first name last name uh, in some way possibly write in the name of the course or the reason for the certificate and click publish or update and now we, we want to create an engagement to trigger that certificate so if we go to engagements, we're going to add a new engagement. We're going to call this end of course certificate for LMS course. And the engagement type is give certificate. Most people give uh, certificates at the end but you can do it, uh, you know, really at, at any point. So the event is, this is the certificate that we're going to give called the end of course certificate. We're not going to delay it. And we want to do it at the end of the course, so course completed. But with all these engagements, you can trigger them off of a lesson completed, a section completed, course completed, course purchased. And there's also this user has not logged in option, which you would not want to do for a certificate, but that's there for if you want to, say, send an email to a user if they haven't logged in in 10 days and try to re-engage them. So that's what that one's about. But for our certificate here, we're just going to do course completed. And be sure to select your event, which is the course completed and it's saying which course have you completed so it's our how to build a learning management system with lifter LMS course and then hit update and now here I am back on my courses page and you can see it I'm 93 percent done with this course so I'm gonna go back inside and down here at the bottom, I'm going to complete my last lesson. And there's no content here. That's why it's so small. I'm just going to mark this as complete. And now, if I go back to my courses, you can see my certificate is here. And if I click View Certificate, a new tab opens. And I can print this certificate or share this link.